is going to the World Cup. He gave Canadian fans reason to cheer at soccer's biggest tournament, leading the men's team to the World Cup for the first time in a generation. Now head coach John Herdman is changing course, quitting to take over at the struggling Toronto FC of Major League Soccer and leaving question marks hanging over Canada's men's team at a critical time. I hope he does a good job at Toronto FC. And I mean, he did a good job with Canada. Canada was pretty bad before. He should never have left the women, in my view. Julia Grosso from Vancouver. Born and raised in England, Herdman first led the Canadian women's squad to New Heights, laying the groundwork for Olympic gold. The Men's World Cup last fall made Herdman a household name. It's a massive understatement to say that the shoes he, uh, the next coach is going to have to fill is going to be enormous. It was his strong language that landed Herdman on a Croatian tabloid cover with a carefully placed maple leaf, but ongoing turmoil at Canada Soccer over money and management has led top leaders to quit and star players to speak out. As a team, we do not trust Canada Soccer to be open and honest. As for Herdman, he always kept his future options open. Will you be the head coach of this team at the 2026 World Cup? I will be tomorrow. I will be excited tomorrow, absolutely. Now Herdman says the goal was always to leave the game in a better place, and I'm confident that goal has been achieved for Canada. Though with soccer's global showcase soon coming to North America, the men's team is left with no permanent leader on the sidelines. The next Men's World Cup is set to kick off in less than three years' time with games played here and in Vancouver. Canada Soccer says its search for a new permanent head coach starts now. Thomas Jagg, CBC News, Toronto.